Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea and welcome to your bonus reading. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get you some important messages that you need to hear today. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important messages that Taurus need to hear today. Have a cups at the bottom of the deck. Taurus, I'm gonna start with love first, and I'm gonna and I'm going to get to career. Uh, we'll go back and forth, okay? Just bear with me. We've got the seven of cups here. There's someone. Again, rules can be reversed between you and the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. When it comes to love, seven of cups can indicate somebody here could be indecisive, could be weighing their options, and also at the same time could be confused wondering with the six of pentacles and the knight of cups wondering if they have made the right decision right it feels a bit like taurus without you in their life they are losing out right five pentacles they may not do as well without you in their life maybe because you supported them or that you could be you know somebody it could be the backbone it could be someone who has in supporting them, giving them advice in some way, shape, or form. Okay, it could be monetarily advice or just being there for them. Um, so nine of cups here is a over. So this person could be trying to figure out. This person could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Can be any sign. So this person also. Um, it feels like they are stuck, right? Will of Fortune and Reverse, they are stuck because they know that, again, they're losing out. Ten of Pentacles and Reverse, being with you um, would have led to a much brighter future, a more stable future. Uh, both of you could have, could grow old together. So this person with the King of Wands is thinking about taking actions towards you because, again, it feels like without you, their life isn't that great okay all, all that their future life is gonna be it's not gonna be that great and they're starting to understand that so they're kind of in this energy where they're questioning their decisions they're questioning their behavior they're questioning their actions so the seven of swords and the page of wands here very strong fire i'm getting here and strong water as well they could be planning something to try and sneak their way back into your life perhaps planning how to what to say to you um how to treat you page of wands is a messenger uh, planning to reach out to you and see if both of you could give this connection a second chance and they're very disappointed very regretful over their maybe past decisions or for being unsure about you and we've got the hermit we've got the eight of swords and lovers so this person is reflecting unless roles are being reversed here okay again it could go vice versa so the hermit is them reflecting again uh and soul searching right trying to figure out i mean this is only happening because perhaps you're not invested right now emotionally or that you're not doing the same things that you used to do for them whether it's giving them attention or supporting them uh, just being there for them in general okay we've got the eight of swords and love first so this person is feeling stuck but they want to come out of this energy of being stuck i feel like they are trying really hard to figure out how, what to say to you right now with the page of wands here and they know that they've got to be very strategic with what they've got to say to you or whatever actions they are going to be taking towards you okay um in a career or finance connotation Taurus, for a lot of you may be disappointed in regards of uh, career choices or options that are available for you if you're not you could be working somewhere or that you could be um or maybe you're not working right now but whatever the case is it feels like there are a lot of options that don't really 
that you're not really that interested. Either there's some things that you like, you just don't love that kind of job, or that it's just not paying enough money for some of you, Taurus, if this is your situation right now. It's only for those of you who need to hear it, okay? But Spirit's definitely encouraging you with the Page of Wands here to look outside of where you're at right now, to explore more. Um, because Page of Wands, you know, this one, this one can get creativity um, or maybe um, finding some sort of an ins inspiration or looking for um, or follow your role models. Some of you may have certain role models, perhaps reading their biography or biography or, you know, following their footsteps a little bit here and there that could... Uh, that could lead to you finding something, okay, something that you may be passionate about. But then the page of wands indicates somebody very adventurous, also somebody who thinks out of the box, uh, somebody willing to explore. So if you're willing to explore outside of where you're at right now, Spirit saying that perhaps you will be able to find it, okay. And seven of swords also can indicate, you know, you're just stealing some ideas, not saying that you're stealing. A lot of people are like copying other people, just feeling inspired, be inspired by somebody, but make it their own. So that could be the message for some of you as well. And also the king of wands is the king of action. Perhaps you need to put your passion, your desire into action okay uh, if this has something to do with your career situation but let's see more I'm gonna go back to love now <clears throat> see when it comes to love there's someone here in your energy field um, I feel like they're obsessively thinking about what should I do? What should I do? Right? Two of Pentacles, weighing the pros and cons to a point where, with Eight of Pentacles and Lovers, they can't even focus on their work or whatever they could be working on. Um, and then we've got the Queen of Pentacles and Lovers, King of Swords, and then we've got Eight of Wands and Lovers. You know, the thing about King of Swords is that, you know, they have feelings. They have feelings. This person has feelings for you, but a little bit of a stubborn energy, but don't really want to express it because they think this is the right thing to do and they may seem a little bit cold there's one person if they seem kind of cold or hot and cold the devil here doesn't mean that doesn't mean that they're not interested but they are you know the devil here they're interested but they've got something that they need to decide here this um, they may have a lot on their plate as well at the same time and i feel like for a lot of you maybe again you have stopped invested in this person queen of pentacles most likely this is you it's a it's an uh, it's an earth sign so you may have stopped right talking to this person or giving them what you used to give them and unless king of uh, king of swords could be you as well just deciding you know to cut this person off and now this person could be wondering right two of pentacles and the uh, devil here uh, obsessively thinking about why are you not invested as much perhaps they do know because we've got the five of cups here and the hermit but they're trying to look for some answers here right um yep and our eight of swords here and my first they are stuck they want to get out of this you know hermit mode uh in this mode where they constantly are searching or could be lost could be feeling lost because of your actions or non-actions towards them. Queen of Cups is right here. This for me indicates, well, a lot of you, maybe this person sees you as the Queen of Cups. They do love you or have romantic feelings for you. They find you to be somebody very beautiful, um, very kind, very gentle. But they may have either the Two of Pentacles can indicate either they have been juggling between you and somebody else or that they have been up and down with you, hot and cold towards you. And I do sense them regretting over something that perhaps they could have done or they're just having these very negative thoughts or negative feelings in regards of why are you not invested, why are you not talking with them right now or if you seem really cold towards them, okay? And when it comes to career, again, uh, Taurus, I keep getting this energy where I think it's a little bit similar from your last 
I don't know, reading the last couple of readings here. So we're seeing with the Queen of, King of Swords here too. Sometimes, you know, it's better to not mix work and pleasure or not to be too nice to people. And if you have employee or co-workers, because they might use that against you, especially if you were to tell them secrets or tell them anything about you, they might use that against you. So it is best to, with the King of Swords here, just to stay professional. That's what I'm getting here. All right, Taurus. Um, hope you resonated. If you did, or if it has helped you in some way, shape, or form, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Uh, I will leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist um, has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs. But these readings are still new. They're still relevant because I post them every single day. But anyway, take care, Taurus. And I hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Bye.